Uh, Kevin here. Just it's Sunday morning. I'm cleaning. Uh, out. So this is a huge mess. So I've got um, this is crap from my uh, mostly stuff from my uh, little English school. Um, a couple of cans of beer. Maybe have those later. And there's an old six pack bag there. <laughs> These are tongs that I used to use for um, picking up garbage. Here you go, Mr. O'Shea. And an old an old job I had, uh, this girl, um, I'd take the kids off to a park, and we'd clean up the park. So there we go, got a tidy Sunday morning clean. It's like the, the greatest adventure on a Sunday morning, called cleaning the fish tank. So, um, cleaning the fish tank. And you, are you helping me? Yeah. Yeah, he's helping me. Um, we're cleaning the fish tank. Yeah! And this is, by the way, this is an awesome subscribe pillow. Um, I got this as a gift from my friend John Pham. Fam Pants on YouTube. Um, yeah, so go check that out. Fan pants. He's he's he rocks, and yeah, that pillow's from John. You know John. All right, he's gone. All right, let's clean this fish tank. Can I go catch it? No, we're not gonna catch the fish. We're just gonna let them sit in there. I've gotta go clean the tank, and you just you can watch them, but no catching them. Okay? Okay? Yeah. No fishy. There's no fish in there. No, and they're not toys. So ooh, throwing out the garbage. Good times. Oh, all the bins are full. Drop it here. Good times. Anyone need a shoe? No? Hey guys, so I'm off, uh, I'm off to the hospital to visit my friend. I have a friend who's in the hospital, he had surgery. And uh, he's been in there for a few days. And, and uh, the thing is my friend is a, uh, He's a, he's a big fan of, of drinking. And of course he can't drink because he's in the hospital recovering from surgery. So I figured I'd get him these mini bit mojito. <laughs> so it's like a mint chocolate snack, but you know, it says mojito. Close enough, no? I'm certainly not going to smuggle booze into a hospital. That's just wrong. Ah, missed my train. I gotta wait 10 more minutes. Damn it. Should have dawdled. <laughs> so this is uh, Kobe Station, uh, one of the older stations in the city of Kobe, and I'm up to a hospital that's close to here. Because of my friend, who's recovering from uh, elective surgery, he's doing alright. And uh, yeah, so I made some pizza, homemade pizza to, to bring to him. Alright guys, so uh, I'm just on my way to the hospital and there's this really massive temple complex um, by Kobe Station and I've walked by it, I've run past this for years but I've never been inside. This is big. This is the biggest uh, temple I've been in, a shrine, I should say, shrine, Jinja, I've seen in Kobe, actually.
Pretty darn nice. There's an ump on my vending machine. My son would love to see that. Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon and I'm, I'm trying to get in the hospital. And yeah, there's a family mart there. I'm trying to get in the hospital, but all the doors are freaking locked. Like, this is one thing that pisses me off about Japan. So, I'll, yeah, um, so yeah, the hospital shut down on the weekends. So um, the entrances that I was using during the week to visit my friend, are, they're all locked now and the lights are off. So this is a big hospital. So you gotta try to wander around trying to find a door that's open. Um, that's one thing that is really strange, um, coming from the perspective of, as a Canadian or a Westerner, that often on weekends um, there's very few medical services. Like, don't get sick on the weekends, guys, um, and don't have an accident on the weekends, because <laughs> a hospital might not accept you because they don't have doctors there or they're emer like, well, uh, limited services. Let's just say that. Ah. Hey guys, um, Kevin here. Uh, we're in the hospital, and um, it, it's really interesting how um, <laughs> at the hospital, the, the hospital just has, has a uh, an English website, and they have like an area, and they have a, a, a desk called the International Patient Desk. I mean, it's all written in English, but yet no one speaks English. Uh, yeah. So uh, going to a, a hospital in Japan can be pretty tough sometimes if. Um, without a translator. Um, even if your Japanese is pretty good, I think, often, like, if you're having to deal with, like, serious medical terms where they're talking, explaining, like, surgery and operations and stuff like that to you, um, that's kind of a vocabulary that most language learners don't have. But uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, um, my friend, he was in good hands. Um, he has lots of, of uh, Japanese friends helping him out and this and that, and, and there you go. It's all good. So I'm um, going to go home now, and that's it for for the vloggity today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of a long one, but hey, there you go. We live in Japan. Go to the hospital. Yeah. All right, see you later, guys. Kevin in Japan. And remember, go check out uh, my new website, BusanKevin.com. BusanKevin.com, links below, or just go to BusanKevin.com. All right, see you later, guys.